Okay, so this is my uh, memory card was full. I'm not sure how uh, large the uh, files can be for uploading anyways for video, so uh, this might be split into a, a few different ones, but uh, anyways, I got a new card in there and uh, we're good to go. So, um, continuing on, this is uh, a bunch of buttons. Um, yeah, just Guns N' Roses buttons and uh, patches for uh, your jacket. That's oh, that one's kind of nice. I like that one. Uh, we got the night train guy. Classic Appetite for Destruction. Patches seem to be, they seem to be nice, like, like, they're patches, I'm not really a, a patch guy or anything, but, uh, they don't, they don't look cheap or, um, like the stitching all looks nice on them. Okay, and... Ooh, here's some bandanas. Uh, oh, these are heat sealed bags. Uh, wow, this one's not. Maybe I can carefully open this one up. This one looks really nice. Uh, but as I said, it's heat sealed. So I'm not going to open up anything that's heat sealed and i draw the line there for now, unless I get another box set, then I'll open them up and take a peek at them. Oh, okay, so this is a flag. There we go. And good luck to me to holding this back the same way that it was. Maybe I'll get lucky. Let's see. Oh, I think I am going to get lucky. Alright. Yep, yeah, there it is. And... And back to its bag. Okay. What's this? Oh, Mr. Minimite. That's off the uh, original Appetite for Destruction uh, cover art, uh, which got changed to the inside art when it got banned from record shelves. But or I guess it's not a uh, it's not a mouse pad. It's a uh, just like a microfiber cloth type thing. Not that I'd ever use it for cleaning, but you can dust off your records with it. If that's what you want to do. Okay, so here's a bunch of little singles. So 45s. Um, so it's so easy. Welcome to the jungle. Uh, so it looks like they are manufactured in the United States. So 
So that's always decent for record production. I like to get UK or Germany or um, United States. I do anyways. I think most people do. I'm not a total expert though. So, But anyway, we got Patience. Um, I guess, yeah, I didn't show that one. Uh, Paradise City. Sweet Child of Mine. Night Train. And Shadow of Your Love. So there's a new one. That's pretty cool. Yeah. From the USA. Awesome. And then there's more records at the uh, at the end. Oh, okay. Kind of reminds me of Guardians of the Galaxy. Cool. 1986 Sound City Session. So. Uh, Looks like um, basically Appetite for Destruction and Lies, um, Live Like a Suicide, uh, Use Your Illusion songs, um, B-Sides, so it's got uh, Heartbreak Hotel, Jumpin' Jack Flash, very cool, The Plague. Oh, I'm not even sure I've ever heard that one. The Plague. I'll have to check that out. Very cool. Well, that's that. Oh, that looks, that looks sharp. So it's B-sides and EPs. So You're Crazy, Patience, Used to Love Her, You're Crazy, It's So Easy, Knocking on Heaven's Door, and Whole Lot of Rosie. ACDC, Axel showing up on this box. No, I, I just, I'm sure ACDC's not, not on it, but just hold on, Rosie. So, there's, oh, Live Like a Suicide? What? You gotta be kidding me. I wonder if this is a reissue. Hey, it's gotta be. Uh, I'm not sure. I have a few of these records, and uh, I'm not sure. I'd have to compare them side by side. Uh, looks a little grainy in the picture on the back of here, but um, uh, without seeing them side by side, I don't know if this is, I, I, I imagine this is a reissue. Of it, but um, I can't say for sure. I'd have to check. I'd have to check my other ones that uh, that I have to compare them. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's got uh, metallic inks used on it, um, just like the uh, CD that they've they put out. Um, Yeah, this wasn't in the box set, but it uh, looks the same. If you have this, it uh, appears it's it's very similar. So that looks like that's uh, that's it for this set, and um, it is a very nice set. It is expensive, but um, from a collector point of view, um, you can't not get it if you're able to. Um, if money doesn't really matter or um, you pick certain things that, that you really want, I would, I would guess that this would probably be on most people's top of the list. Um, I'm glad that I got it. 
I'm going to take very good care of it. I'm going to check out that Live Like a Suicide album in here because it looks very similar to the uh, original ones from 1986 that I have. Um, yeah, I, I, I want to know for sure though. I, I'm sure that it is because uh, I believe there's 10,000 of those kicking around and uh, from 1986 and there's 10,000 of these box sets so there's there's no way that that could be in an original one it's that just doesn't make sense so um, and then again here's this record player and it's pretty it's pretty it's nice she's shiny so cool record player uh, that's gonna be one of the best pieces in my Guns N' Roses collection that I have. Um, again, this is my first video, so uh, I hope you liked it. And um, if you are thinking about getting it, um, I would recommend it. And uh, yeah, I hope you like it. Okay, take care.